to use the timer on the micro bit. So we actually have to go into some of the advanced settings and the control settings. And so this part right here, this milli, is actually the time. And if you hover over it, it likes to give. Ugh, I hate this. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, so what I can do here is I can just make a, a, a little bit of a timer, let's say. So if I start a variable and I say time, and so I'm not going to set the time anywhere. I'm actually going to. So this this milliseconds is actually time elapsed from the start of the program. So if I put it on start, it's not going to make any sense. So what I can do is I can use this and maybe with some button A and button B types of things. And um, I can have it display the amount of time. So if I just just drop it in here. Just for fun and then so. It finished loading, so now now that this is a color, it's started to load. And so if I press a now it will show six, three, one, three. So that means that six thousand three hundred and thirteen milliseconds has passed. If I press it again, it's now one seven seven four two. So that's 17 seconds because it's 17,000. So what I can do is I, I can start to have a, a create myself a, a project where I can uh, build up by maybe let's say um, set a time equal to the milliseconds and then I have another one on button B where it will take the current time and subtract the time. And I guess this this use of the word time here is actually not a good uh, variable. I want it to be like a start time. So let's see what happens here. So if I so I I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to now so I, I let this run. Doesn't matter if I press a and then I start counting. So one, two, three. If I press B, it's going to show 56. So let's let's try this again. I'm going to restart the restart the program. And I'm going to so I'm going to press A and then I'll count out loud and then I'll see if I can if my counting is good. So I like this is run for a while already. I know that it's it's uh, definitely like 10 seconds into my program. So if I do this. One, two, three. So this has gone on. So I'm I'm pretty good when I count out loud. I'm pretty good at that. Let's try it again. So I haven't restarted. So if I press A, it should take that current time to my current time. Actually, I need to start again. OK, so. One Mississippi. Be three Mississippi four Mississippi five Mississippi. Oh, I'm like. That was close, except I was at five. I should have been at, no five Mississippi. And then did I press it on five Mississippi or six? Anyway, let's try it again. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. So anyway, whatever that sort of gives you an idea of how you can use the A and the B to to create a timer. And so uh, I would invite you to use this as creating a timer. Um, again, the milli is found in the advance. And then down here in the control. And so then you can use that as the run. It's essentially the run time of the micro bit. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording or happy coding everyone. <laughs>